Hi, to me. We can start with our presentations. It's an hour. Uh, really, for me, during our presentation, join with Dr. Rosa Campola de Septian, Dean of University of African Diasporic in Cuba. My name is Karina Vidaseca. I'm coordinator of the South South program of Afro Latin American and Caribbean Postgrade and the Council of Latin American Social Science. Also, I'm professor at University of African Diasporic in Cuba and University of Buenos Aires in, in Argentine. Our presentation has the spirit of the great Afrofeminist as Angela Davis, Audrey Lord, Lelia Gonzalez, Edward Gleason, Franz Fanon, and other African and Afro Latin American poets and singers. We will talk about the the colonization, the history and education in the context of postgraduate school beyond the decade of people of African descendant that was celebrated in Durban in the recent creation of the University of African Diasporic in 2020. But uh, about the relation between the history, colonialism and neocolonialism, when the arrival of imperialism and colonialism made us abandon our history to enter another history, said Amilcar Cabral. Uh, how to rewrite history from the perspective of the so far defeat for the women and other subaltern voices perspective? For us, history is an imperialist narrative constructed by the West. Uh, history is a very functional fantasy of the West since it originated precisely when it made the history of the world on its own. Uh, this is the hierarchy process that we then in our emerging historical conscience, in its ruptures, its sudden emergence, this resistance to explorations. Uh, Edward Gleason uh, and famous um, Discurso Caribeño such as Coleccionados, um, said about the, the possibility of emancipation. Fortune Ghost's mastery of the language of a people was key to the domination of their mental universe, such as the deliberate destruction of culture, its arts, religions, dance, history, education, oratio, or literature, this implied the elevation of the language of the colonizer. Biko said that a town without a positive history is like a vehicle without an engine, but reference to African heroes are very scarce. This approach conceived the promote of black consciousness has to turn to the past. I am to rewrite the history of the black man and present in the heroes who uh, occupy the center of the African war. And uh, James Baldwin wrote in the White Man's Guild, hey man, white man, history is hardly anyone seems to know is far from just something to be read. And it does not refer only or even mainly to the past, rather the great the strength of the story comes from the facts that we carry it within us, that is unconsciously controlled us in multiple ways and is literal presence in everything we do. Baldwin, Baldwin James and the White Men's Guild, a great book about this history. Some of the ideas of the field Afric La Pensée Movement, part one from Jean Pierre Becolo, filmmaker from Cameroon. In order to make sure family voices are heard, I think what Francois Berger is saying is important. This intellectual Francois Berger uh, said that since we think the progress must be even if in a certain way what was already been done. So how we, can we also give the notion of progress 
another content since we always say progress is well. It comes from the West and it's bad. And therefore, how one could give another content to this notion of progress, a radical new content. Then in this economy of lack and absence, I would like to talk a little bit about Africa, said Borges. Well, everyone we know, a lot of us have studied how it was present as the name of the continent without history. But it was the place of a urban fantasy, the fantasy of regeneration. This European fantasy, uh, as we know, especially in the 20s and 30th and the century, 19th century, for a Europe that felt emasculate, tired, empty of this vital sap. These are words that were use of a weakened masculine principle. It was necessary to go to Africa's region. It is a dimension that has excited alongside in the dominant dimension of the civilizing missions that have been uh, extensively extended to regenerate is to bring back to a previous state the limit superior. Therefore, a, ter a Europe that would regain its up in the Africa that would be reaching vital force. But at the same time, this Africa is rich and poor. It is rich also in history, rich in, in gold, men and women that have been captured for maneuver. Uh, but uh, therefore, it, it has been written labor power for centuries and still today from world to drop bodies to enslave and deport. It was a tsar considered without limits. So all that is nature contains was considered without limits. One could at the same time whale its forest of of course, its minerals, all the stars uh, today, even today in the 20th century, that um, one sees in the early times, so it was in fact a vast continent of if this what could be called Chib Labor and Chib Nature. Uh, um, it forests, of course, its minerals, and all, all are the sources, even today in the 20th century, that one sees in the early times. So it was, in fact, a vast continent uh, of this which could be called cheap labor and cheap, in cheap nature, no? A priceless labor and priceless nature, which are two crucial components, absolutely crucial to the development of the capitalism, the African continent has offered them so it was a continent search of body and nature's commodity and things to exploit to traffic. So this source of accumulation of wealth have made the African continent a global necessity without the African continent that would have being this development. And I'm not talking about today, I am talking about previous centuries. It is uh, through the slave trade and exploitation of resources that the wealth of the American and the Caribbean shift the axis of wealth. And it is well known what historians have shown now instituting the north-south axis and um, weaken uh, the south-south relations that were millennia old, uh, which excites from west to east, and it is known from the African continent with the Arabian Gulf and with Asia. So we have this shift that actually starts from the idea that there are unlimited sources. Europe builds this 
cities with a priceless labor and a priceless nature, and nature was regenerating itself and as much as one can draw. We can wear it had led today, and today Africa is crying, and Africa Latina is crying. Um, regarding about the necessary stars to the planetary economy. Uh, it continues to supply from cheap labor and cheap nature. I will not give you all the figures you know about the worst cooper and the cobalt reserves and all the things, lithium, uh, that are good and also today all the young things that are millions of young people in Africa and I'm Africa Latina and who can represent both a new source of cheap labor. So how to rethink how to uh, this this notion really transform these ideas, endless sources and the rich that exist today on African resources and have been compared with the rushes that have happened in the 15th and 16th centuries on the labor force and thus benefiting the birth of capitalism and industrial revolution. Um, Professor Boaventura de Sousa Santos defines as the colonizing history, decolonize a history to an intellectual intervention that confront the different modes of modern modis domination to the extent that they have configured the hegemonic writing of modern history uh, in a critic of the dominant versions of Western modernity that made a sharp separation of the war between metropolitan and colonial societies for the author colonial history corresponds to the Abaisa line, or linea abismal, which fractures uh, colonized societies, colonized societies. The Abaisa line is the radical line of separation between fuel humanistic beings or uh, seres humanos y seres subhumanos, between fully human beings and subhuman beings, the most radical naturalization of social hierarchies in modern times. Thus, this line occupies the center of European colonial expansion, European colonial expansion, colonialism and patriarchy have been reconfigured to operate as privileged regimes of subhumanization. What we new perspectives have been developed around the thesis of the decolonization of history from the academic and artistic and activist fields, what form to the colonial ghost take in what I would call the war between the metropolitans and their former colonialists. Uh, how does imperial geopolitics and its racist patriarchal ideology cut across this practice for liberation our people. Colonialism is the long history of extractivism uh, of all kinds of resources from our continents, knowledge, um, species, um, a labor force, how it's possible to face a system based on necropolitics, as Ashilman Bay calls our world. A concept of employment that Gucci or glare of nobulation, colonization of the imaginary and Afro dystopia by Joseph Tonda. Uh, are very important by uh, to this unity sense the uh, science the south postcolonial imperialism critics of the society of wrestling the com commercialization of the uh, image image that does not reflect on reality image of the image image to kill the eyes to get blinded 
in our world the coexistence of extravagance, misery, hedonism, war and death is the current coin. Uh, we think that international solidarity among the working class, racialized and sexualized bodies, and international solidarity among the formerly colonized people era around the world is the most important moment from the South against colonialism and racism and patriarchal systems. For women, the occupation of the territory is analogous to the occupation of their bodies. In our territories of struggle of women has three um, aims against patriarchal, against co-occupation, and against the Western gaze that tends to relegate them to a domestic role. The discussion about the writings on the racialist body who obey, but um, what I will call a new imperial reason that inscribed the script of a global colonialist fundamentalism. Africa uh, and America seen as resistance. Uh, since um, the source of power, the idea of America Latino from the Afrofeminist and activist Lelia Gonzalez from Brazil is our legacy from the liberation of rights. Uh, what do we actually connect Africa with, with America Latina? Uh, in our project, the University of the African Diaspora created in 2020 functions as a pedagog pedagogical and decolonial space uh, that hosts a multiplicity of training purposes. It is entrenched in ancestral knowledge, scientific technological advances in various areas as well in the articulation in between the academies and the Afro-descendants movement. The University of African Diaspora is governed for a criteria of social inclusion in a decolonial and intersectional anti-racist perspective with and an intercultural base and a general perspective with a special attention with an intercultural base and a gender perspective, with a special attention to the mechanism of, of advancement uh, and recognition of human rights. Uh, its objectives are the following, are uh, in first, uh, first uh, place, promote and preserve the ancestral history and Afro-descendant culture. Uh, second, develop process of postgraduate training, research and university extension from an Afrocentric, decolonial and intersectional perspective. And third, develop joint work strategies with the Afro-descendant movement in the field of teaching, research, and university extension with local communities. America Latina, this concept and proposal to rename Latin America was formulated by, by Lelia Gonzalez, arises from the need to recognize, firstly, that without Blacks, there would be no America in the second half of the second um, century. And secondly, the harsh struggles that took place to free the enslaved and the Amerindians to uh, resist the colonial onslaught. Uh, when proposing the category of America Latina, Gonzalez proposed a double task to understand to full impact that both the European invasion of the territories of Abia Yala, as the uh, title to America Latina, as well as the trade of enslaved Africans and the colonial process have an our social and personal present and that of recognizing the visions and proposal of the different subalternative subjects and the multiple forms of agency that they displayed against the dominant society, 
site the Colombian Afrofeminista Mara Viveros Vigoya at the close of the recent edition of our book entitled La as a Poetic Relationship, inspired in uh, Audre Lorde and Edward Gaysan, was published by Claxo and El Mismo Mar, the, the Ocean Scene editions in Buenos Aires. Um, the American philosopher and activist Bell Hooks left to visit in the 1992 interview quoted at the beginning of this section. Bell Hooks described the economics, um, the, the dynamics of a globalized war trial uh, by control and fear. Well, um, Bell Hooks wrote this uh, line 30 years ago today in a war of pandemic and global inequality, it is more urgent uh, than ever to think about the role of feminism. Um, Bell Hooks discuss in many of these words about the importance of love. Love as a poetics of the relationship we would say following Gleason. The coloniality of, of power exists only as a relationship. Colonialism is the fruit of a dysfunctional relationship because it only privileges one side. What kind of relationship does Bell Hook invite in her feminist practice? This, was, uh, this would be central, the question that this volume seeks to answer. How do we repair and heal global relationalities? But who says that the uh, understand love, it is necessary to understand the suffering of the other. The philosopher Maria Lugones, um, born in Argentine in my country and a representative of the, the colonial feminists and bell hooks are two of our models of uh, the, colonial, the colonial feminism. The colonial feminism are two of our models uh, because they thought out as hooks would say that feminism is everyone's business. Uh, is everybody is is for all. Is for all. Feminism is for all. Feminism is a strategy for a social chain, a form of critical questioning uh, of the reality that plague our time. From global warming to pandemic and natural resource management, from domestic violence to pharmacies, these are all concerns that cut across feminist practice from the center. In his book, Yearning, Race, Gender and Culture Politics, he speaks of the home place as a seat of resistance and liberation, a struggle against uh, white racism. Uh, she said, seeing sexist delegate to women, to task of creating and caring for a home, it was primary responsibility of black women to build domestic homes with a face of care against brutal racist oppression and sexist domination. Historically, um, African American gave the construction of the home place of a, a radical political dimension, quoting a Buddhist monk, Thich Nhat Hanh, who during the war uh, in Vietnam defined resistance as opposition to being invaded, occupied, assaulted, and destroyed by the system. Late in her life, Hooks decided the teaching at universities like Columbia, Harvard, or Yale didn't make much sense for her. Perhaps it was because her questioning of reaching academicism had led her to this sentiment. She closed to research, uh, to return to Kentucky where she was born, uh, the water of a man who cleaned. He went back to where he called it.
she chose to return to Kentucky where she was born, the daughter of a woman uh, who cleaned tools and a woman who works as a maid in a White House. He went back to Berea College and chose today uh, back to the land, back to the roads that had marked his early uh, years. He brought his look belonging uh, and a culture of place which is part autobiography and part ideological proclamation about segregation in the United States. The African-American experience in rural community in the South, like the ones in Kentucky where she grew up. That it says community of care are sustained by rituals of regard. Community of care are only built from rituals of respect. To be capable of love, one has to be capable of suffering and of acknowledging one's suffering. We all suffer rich and poor. The fact is that when people have material privilege of the enormous expansive of others, they live in the state of terror as well. Is as the units of having to produce your gain with the necessity of even greater control. That's why we see fascism and surface right now in Europe and the United States in compulsion to control, to control, said Bell Hooks. This price new world order is too significant because it confirms everybody's sense that life is out of control and we are weakened by nihilism, brought the Afro-feminist in the uh, tricycle interview. Uh, other lore in Sister Outsider brought about the community as Ubuntu. I am because we are. Ubuntu is the central concept that um, we see uh, is very, very important for this world. Uh, and um, I like to to celebrate this uh, text uh, wrote by Audre Lorde that say, this year in my house, we have celebrated Kwanzaa. The African-American Harvest Festival, which begins to on the day after Christmas and lasts a week in, Queens, in Kwanzaa, seven principles are commemorated one each day. First, is it emotion, which means unity, the decision to fight for the unity of self and community and maintain it. The principle that corresponded to yesterday, the second, was kuhitagulia, self-determination, the decision to define ourselves, name ourselves, and speak on our own we have extended of allowing others to define and speak to us in our name. Today is the third day of Kwanzaa and the corresponding principle is Uhima, work and collective responsibility, the decision to cooperate in the construction of our being and our community and to identify and solve problems together. It was a pleasure to be with you. Peace and love. Thank you very much.
Hello, Hetty. Yes, I will take in question about this presentation. Thank you very much. Yes, Diane, thank you very much for your question about this concept that I'm Africa Ladina. It was proposed by um, Lele Gonzalez, in, and very, very important activist from Brazil, uh, that she inspired uh, by Franz Fanon and uh, White Mask and um, to understand the full impact that both the European invasion of the territory of America, as well as the trade of the enslaved Africans and the colonial process have on our, on our social and personal present, and that of recognizing the vision of proposal of the different subaltern voices and the multiple forms of agency that they displace against the dominant uh, society. Uh, Amefrica Ladina is um, a joint concept that uh, um, uh, uh, is, uh, make possible um, to unite Africa with uh, America Latina and Caribbean. And uh, this formulated by Lelia arises from the need to recognize firstly that without blacks there would be no America in the second half of the 20th century. And secondly, the harsh struggles that took place to free the enslaved and the American Indians, uh, original um, peoples, to resist the, colonial, uh, the colonialism. Uh, this category uh, 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 also is very, very important for uh, to register the uh, religious of um, African matrix, no, uh, and the spirituality feminism.
Marcelo, me sacas una foto, mi amor. 